I think that that's it, right? I think that's it. We got about five minutes left, six-ish minutes left in this game. Uh, I think our boy is out, right? I don't think that they're going to put Stefan Castle back in. Jeremy Sohan, Keldon, Harrison Barnes, they're, they're certainly not coming back in, right? Um, so right now, they're just allowing uh, City Sissoko to get some more minutes, Ingram to get some more minutes, and Ingram looks pretty impressive right now. Uh, so let's go ahead. I, I think it's I think it's uh I think it's fine to do this. I think it's fine and Danny to do this. Yeah, nothing's going on. Don't look like the Spurs are gonna win this one. We'll see though. All right, so let's go ahead and go through each player and I'll just tell you how I felt they did overall this game in the first preseason game, first game of the season. So first and foremost, Keldon. All right, let me get this out of the way. I don't I don't want to be a jerk. I don't want to be mean here. Um Keldon, and you can take this in a good way, you can take this in a bad way. It really just depends on how you feel about Keldon. Right now, he's the exact same player. Like I, I don't see much difference other than he's slightly quicker, but you know, defensively doesn't look that great. Um, still a little flat footed. Later lateral quickness isn't improved that much. Um, he just looks a little lighter on his feet. But as far as how he's approaching the game, it's the exact same. I'm not gonna harp on it. You guys know how I feel about Keldon. You know what I hope for Keldon um, this season. But you know, same looks looks like the same Keldon. But I will say this. All right, some positivity there. And some people might see that as positive. Like, oh, good, he's the same Keldon. But and th this is something that's really positive. I think that he made some pretty decent passes in there, here and there. Uh, there was a really nice uh, give and go between him and Harrison Barnes. That was perfectly executed in which Barnes found Julian Champagne in the corner and we'll talk about Julian in a minute um, but overall same Keldon uh, but I think when the team really started gelling and passing the ball uh, uh, and distributing the ball pretty well amongst themselves he, he fit in quite well he, he did okay okay he did okay um, but overall seems like the same player Jeremy Sohan and eh, basically the same player uh, three-point shot looked a little better it didn't have much of a hitch this time around 50 percent from three uh shot two made one and the third quarter went off a little bit um did his thing but you sh we shouldn't expect much more uh so he looked fine he, he did his thing um you know if you were worried about the extra 10 pounds that he put on didn't really make that much of a difference i don't think that he looked slower or anything like that um uh, can't really tell I mean, obviously he's stronger, but can't really tell yet. But I, I, he didn't look slower. That's the most important thing, right? So overall, he he looked pretty doggone good. Um, but not, nothing more, more there. Nothing to say about Sohan. Harrison Barnes was Harrison Barnes. If, if you've been watching him, I don't know. He's, he's, he made great passes, phenomenal leadership. Did uh, was was great communicating. Seemed like Pop didn't have to get on the team as much because Harrison Barnes was on the court. Uh, coaching it up as far as percentage wise he can shoot better than this we all know he can shoot better than 25 percent one for four uh his career average is somewhere near 37 percent 36 i think uh, and i don't want to give you guys any uh false information here let's see we can just google search that bad boy uh three point percentage 38 38 30 is even better than what i said i said 37 38 so 38% um, from three. So that's what we can expect this upcoming season. You know, he he did, he did a fine job. Distributed the ball well, passed well, did his thing. Um, and defense was fine as well. So I know some people were worried about that. I know the Spurs, they say that they put him at center. Harrison Barnes was not at center initially. Sohan was at center. They got this one a little, a little off. But overall, he did fine. He did fine for everything considered. Julian Champigny. So I said this once, I'll say it 50 million more times. He is gonna get so much praise this season that he did not get last season. And the reason being is because he did a really good job last season. And when I bring this up, when I bring up, oh, he was a really good three and D for us. And uh, you know, at times he, he definitely went off and he, he was a good threat and he had high basketball IQ. A lot of times, at least what I've seen, I've, I've had seen comment sections say, 
what do you mean? Like Julian Champagne's a scrub or like, I'll be on, you know, talking to chat and someone will say, oh, he's not that good. I don't know what you're talking about. But honestly, I think it just comes down to last season. He was in a starting lineup and he shouldn't have been in a starting lineup. That's all it is. He's not a starter, but coming off the bench, he is going to be nasty. And there's going to be quite a few games this season where in the fourth quarter, we need some shots and he brings us back from his three point shooting alone. Cause when he gets hot, he gets hot. Um, but in this game in particular, six for 13, 46.2 three point uh, percentage. So overall three point percent or free throw percentage, not great. Uh, field goal percentage, not great, but three point percentage was awesome. Uh, two for two free throw um, from the free throw line. And yeah, as Jay in the chat brought up, uh, seven rebounds is really impressive. Yeah. So he he was a gritty player last year. Last year. He'll be a gritty player this year. And I think he's going to get way more credit for that um, this season. So he's playing, I, I'm, in my opinion, he's, he's, he's playing, he's playing better than his contract. Champagne better as off the bench spark plug. Exactly. Eric. Exactly. That's what he'll be. Um, nothing to say about Trey Jones. Uh, he did fine. I, I don't, I don't know what else to say about Trey Jones. He was okay. You know, he did his thing. He's, he's solid. Didn't make too many mistakes. Made the right passes, played defense to the best of his ability. Yeah, solid, solid player. Uh, Blake Wesley. All right, so Blake Wesley, I do have something to say about him. So he's going to have to improve uh, three-point shooting. Right now, one for two, or he was one for two, 50% from three. That is fine. Totally cool. Nothing wrong with that. Um, but all we need from him this season is be a good catch-and-shoot uh, player. But I do think that he improved defensively. He looked better defensively. I don't I don't know exactly how to put my what to put my or how to how to put what to put my finger on. I don't know how to put my finger on it, but defensively he did look slightly quicker. Um he anticipated the offensive or the offensive uh players moves a little bit better. I just thought overall defensively he was much more of a pest than he was even last season. And last season he was good defensively. Blake's defense is elite. It's really good. That's what's gonna always keep him in the game. So I think he has a place for this team, place on this team. That that will always keep him in the game. Always keep him in the game. All right. All right. So for the next player, we're going to have to be a little, we're going to have to be a little mean. Okay. I know it's a preseason, but Malachi Branham. So five for 14 from the field, 35.7%, two for eight from three, 25%. He's better than this. Let me go ahead and say that. Let me get this out of the way. He is better than this percentage, obviously, okay? Obviously. Um, but unfortunately, and this is what I'm worried about, is Malachi, the role that he's going to play is this. He's going to be a player that we're going to need him to knock down his threes. Because to be honest, defensively, not really there, right? The, he's just not there. There were many occasions I was yelling about it when we were just watching the game not that long ago. Um, where he was in position to at least box out his guy and he's just kind of there, you know, not really getting physical. Um, this was a problem last season as well. Uh, but yeah, he's just, he's there to shoot and it felt like that was it. Now, Malachi in college, what he was really good at is ball handling, coming around, uh, screens, the pick and roll, mid range shots like that. That was his thing. And he can still be that. Don't get me wrong. He can still be that type of player. But I don't know if the Spurs are going to use him in that way. And how we're mo more likely is go going to use him is a catch and shoot spot up shooter, right? Like that's what we're going to need him to be. Uh, so he's going to have to shoot better than this. He's very capable of doing so. Here, let me bring up. I think last season he averaged, I'm going to guess, 50 or 35% from three. Let's see okay yeah nearly 35 percent. so he's 34.7 percent from three so he's 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 capable of doing it but that's what we're really going to just rely him on to be honest that that's what you got to rely on so um he's going to have to shoot better and that's all he's going to be used for i think uh i i don't know if we're going to be able to knock him into being a more physical player he's just not like that he's just not that type of player um, so that worries me a little bit, especially when, not to say him as a player is one dimensional, but the Spurs are going to use him in a pretty one dimensional sense. And it makes sense. You have Stefan Castle, you have Trey Jones, 
you have Chris Paul. Why would you need to rely on Malachi Branham to be any type of facilitator, any type of pick and roll maestro? You're not. You're not, right? Um, so, yeah, that's all I got to say about Malachi. Uh, disappointed me today based on his physicality alone. Shooting, I'm not that worried about, but, you know. All right. Castle. Castle's him. Castle is absolutely him. Now, I know he has six turnovers in this game, um, but honestly, if you watched it, it didn't really feel like it. And the reason being is because you kind of saw what he was doing. You saw where he was getting at. It wasn't a, um, I'm rushing this or I'm nervous or, you know, it, it, it wasn't, it didn't really feel like rookie mistakes. It just felt like a little rusty. That's how, that has, that's how I, how it came across to me. When he was on the court, it just felt rusty. It, it felt like a veteran. I'm, I'm seriously mean this. It felt like a veteran who's been here before. That's just a little rusty. Uh, because a lot of the turnovers were just, you know, he got he got physical, you know, bounced the ball off his leg. You know, it wasn't anything crazy. It wasn't anything wild. It wasn't anything where I was worried at all. So um, overall, though, he used his physical abilities very well. He's extraordinarily strong had a poster in there everyone's going to be talking about that uh defense was on point uh playmaking was on point he he made some really great passes in there uh you never know where the ball is going to go uh when he has the ball in his hands very patient uh it, it, it was just it was just a great game overall for a rookie it, it was really impressive uh really impressive uh, Castle was getting bodied, to be honest, but that's part of the rookie experience. I didn't really see it that way, but yeah, that's fine. Yeah, you're right, though. It is part of the rookie experience. But overall, he did phenomenal. He did he did phenomenal. I, I couldn't have asked for anything better from Castle in his first, you know, official NBA showing. He did a good job. Um, but yeah, so. And I, I'm going to say this, and I'll say this like 50 million times. I think he should start when the season actually starts. I think he should be in the starting lineup. I don't want to see Keldon in the starting lineup. I don't I don't want to see Julian Champigny in the starting lineup. I want to see Stefan Castle in the starting lineup. And he's very capable of doing it being a combo guard. And, you know, if you watched him at UConn, he could play one through three. So yeah, I I, I think I think he should be in the starting lineup at that two spot until Devin Fassell comes back. Um, let him learn, but also he's not gonna do anything that ruins your starting like he's just, he's just not his basketball IQ is too high he he was too well coached um throughout his basketball career he's not going to make some huge mistakes um that you'll see from a lot of rookies um but like I said six turnovers when somebody in the chat said earlier that Wimby turned the ball over a lot to his rookie season so we'll get we'll give it we'll give it some time but it, it was nothing that caused for concern in my opinion um City Sissoko he's exactly who I thought he was I love him. I love City. I think he's high basketball IQ, great defender, made some really um, beautiful passes in this game. But uh, he got a he got to shoot, man. He got to shoot, and maybe it's gonna take another off season. His jump shot just did not give me much confidence. Actually, that's weird. It shows here that he didn't take a jump shot, but he did. I could have sworn he took he took. Am I crazy? Was it a dead ball? Chat, I need you to tell me what's going on. That they have him not shooting a three or fill. I could have sworn he did. Like, twice. I don't know. In those two times that I apparently didn't count, uh, it didn't look too great. It, it looked pretty bad, to be honest. Maybe it was a dead ball. Maybe it was two dead balls. Uh, he looked a little lost out there, to be honest. We were talking about City. Yeah, it's fine. All right, I'll wait for the chat to tell me. I didn't see any progression from City. Um, no, not really. Not really. He is who he is, you know? I know he lost quite a bit of weight. Um, but overall, he did a really great job of passing the ball, played physical, you know. We just have to wait and look. All right, anyways... Mamu, Mamu was great. Mamu was absolutely phenomenal. Couldn't have asked for a better game from him. Three for four from three. That's what you're gonna need from him. And Colin's got to be careful, okay? Because 
nah, I'm just kidding. I don't think Collins loses any minutes, but uh, yeah, Mam Mamu's shooting was really, really great. Uh, defensively, he's okay. You know, he he's all right. He's all right defensively. He he's he's suitable. Uh, but but offensively, it was br it was brilliant, man. It was, it was some really good passes, high basketball IQ, moving without the ball, uh, you know, filling in the lanes pretty well. Uh, shoot, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. It very confident in his three point shooting. I mean, he's very confident. He just let that thing rip, and you were convinced that it was gonna go in every single time. So across the board, four for five overall, eighty percent, three for four, seventy five percent from three, and then three for four. 75% from the free throw line. And then uh, as far as the rest of the players here, not much more to say. I'll be honest, didn't, didn't pay attention too much. I mean, we watched them, but didn't pay attention too much. Um, uh, Harrison Ingram, just focusing on someone that's more than likely going to get minutes this season, or, or a few minutes at least. Uh, passing was really impressive. Defense was really impressive. Passing was really impressive. High basketball IQ player. I know I say high basketball IQ like 50 million times, but it's true. This this team is full at the brim with high IQ players. And when it was on, it was on. They looked really impressive. Really impressive. Anyways, <laughs> Mamu should start over Wimby. No, nah, I'm dead serious. Gotcha. What's your preferred eight man rotation to start the season? Uh, shoot. All right. So we got to start with the starting lineup, right? Um, obviously Chris Paul, um, Devin Fassell. Oh wait, you said the start of the season, uh, Stefan Castle. That's who I would start. And then I would start, uh, Harrison Barnes, Sohan, Wimby. Those are my five. And then coming off the bench, I guess that would be everyone who play right now. Obviously, obviously Collins, Trey Jones. I think I'm gonna roll with Blake. Wouldn't be surprised if City, Keldon, Branham, and Wesley get traded. Man, I would really hold off on Blake Wesley to be honest with you, man. I would. I mean, that that's how that's how high I am on him right now. I will really hold off seriously because there's things in his game the thing about blake is it's some things that you just can't teach his incredible first step his incredible speed up and down the court his defense that's just something you just it's really hard just to teach somebody these things right his his level of athleticism alone i think he deserves a spot on the spurs and one thing i didn't mention as well with blake wesley is his handles looks more look more solid as well did he have a turnover? I don't even remember the turnover he had. His handles looked that solid. Oh, no, no, I do remember the turnover. It was a bad pass. Yeah, 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 I do remember it. It was one bad pass. But it was one pass that was nasty bullet behind the back. He drove to the paint, drew in the defense, and did it behind the back. It was a bullet. It was a bullet. And, and uh, Malachi Brand, I'm pretty sure it was Malachi Brand, he missed the shot. But it was a bullet, man. Uh, so I will hold off on Blake. That is not one I would just throw into the mix like that, willy-nilly. You talking about trading. Uh, but yeah. And City Sissoko definitely needs some more work. His his basketball IQ was great this season. I mean, not this season. This game. Uh, but shooting-wise, even though they're showing that he didn't shoot anything... It was one play in particular. He was wide open for three, and he didn't take it. He drove in. So he, he has no confidence in his shot right now, which worries me. Nah, get Blake the F out of there. Nah, Blake, Blake is... You're tripping, man. You're tripping, Mario. Blake Blake, Blake is the man. He, he looks really good. I will hold off. He looks really good. I don't think City going to ever be... Uh, valuable player, NBA player, or viable NBA player. I, I, you gotta be patient with these. Like, this is one thing about um, the Spurs, right? Like, a lot of other teams, you can kind of just, if, if you get, if you trade, or you trade, if you draft someone in the second round, you can just kind of call it off. Like, oh, you know, he's not gonna be much. But with the Spurs, they do such a great job in development. 
those second round picks take a while, but sometimes they can be genuinely good players for us. So, and uh, keep in mind, City Soko was uh, Wimby's age when he got into the league, you know? He's, I mean, he's very young. He's a very young player. But, Clan, you have to understand if they don't develop him on the actual team soon, I think as you mean, it'll be hard for him to find a role. Yeah, that's true. That is true. Um, I'm, I'm just going to give him a minute. I'm going to let him cook. I'm going to give him a minute. The team, th this isn't our team yet. Like, this isn't the, the San Antonio Spurs that's going to be winning championships yet, right? It's going to be a lot of guys leaving. It's going to be a lot of guys gone. I'm just not ready or sold on the fact of, on the idea that he, he doesn't deserve a spot on the team. I, I don't, I don't prescribe, I don't prescribe to that. Subscribe to that, that notion. <clears throat> Anyways, that was, that was my overall thoughts about this game. I thought that they played together. I thought, you know, as a team, it was good communication. I was very, <clears throat> I was very impressed without the main guys on the on the squad. Um, I was very impressed by the amount of the sheer amount of ball movement. Um, just just solid basketball, man. And I think they're gonna win a lot of games this season. We were missing so many players, and they look so solid. We're going to win a lot of games. Great ball movement. Exactly. That's all I can say about it. Great ball movement.